Six, the gentleman from California, Mr. Sherman, and a member opposed. Each will control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from California. Thank you. One programming note at this point in the um, schedule, we were scheduled to deal with three Sherman amendments, number 20, number 21, and number 22. Number 22, also in the Rules Committee uh, numbering, number 83, was included in an en blanc uh, adopted by this House last evening. Uh, floor number 20, uh, Rules Committee number 301, is not being considered at this time because it will be included in an en blanc uh, that comes up later today. So we're now focused on uh, number 21, Rules Committee number 82, uh, and I rise in support of that amendment. On September 1st, 1983, Korean Airlines 007 was shot down. 269 casualties, including a member of this House, Congressman Larry McDonald. On July 17th, 2014, Malaysian Airlines number 17 was shot down. 298 casualties. If there's one thing this House can agree on, it is that we are opposed to shooting down, especially deliberately shooting down, civilian aircraft. And yet, the government of Azerbaijan has stated with regard to flights going into Stepanagart Airport that they envision the physical destruction of airplanes landing in that territory. This threat has been repeated several times by Azeri officials, and in times past, Azerbaijan has actually shot at civilian airliners uh, going into Stepanagard Airport. That is why this amendment is necessary. It prohibits the transfer of Defense Department articles to Azerbaijan unless the President can certify that the weapons being transferred will not threaten civilian aviation. It would be a tragedy if a civilian airliner were sh shot at or shot down as it landed or took off from Stepanagat Airport in the Republic of Artsakh. But if that, God forbid, ever happens, let it not be an American weapon. We are on notice that anti-aircraft weapons transferred to Azerbaijan may very well be used against civilian aircraft. That is why it is necessary for us to have this provision. After 23 years of studying these issues on the Foreign Affairs Committee, I'm not convinced that we should transfer any weapons under any circumstances to the government of Azerbaijan until it comes to the table and resolves the Artsakh dispute. But certainly, we should not, having been put on notice, transfer weapons that uh, we cannot be sure will not be used to shoot down civilian aircraft. I'm pleased to have uh, the co-sponsorship of this uh, amendment by Representative Speer, Schiff, and Pallone. And I believe that this is a, uh, a necessary step because as we provide weapons to countries around the world, we should not provide anti-aircraft weapons that we believe might very well be used to shoot down uh, civilian aircraft. I would point out that the Stepanagard Airport is located in the Republic of uh, Artsakh, previously known as the Republic of Nagorno-Karabakh, and our historically Armenian territory that was lumped in with Azerbaijan by no less than Joseph Stalin in a deliberate effort to create uh, uh, ethnic tensions in the Caucasus to the benefit of the Soviet Union and in an effort to punish the Armenian people. The people of Artsakh established their independence decades ago and whatever your view as to the status of that territory, you should support this amendment unless you believe it is appropriate to shoot down civilian aircraft. I uh, 
urge my colleagues to support uh, the amendment, and I uh, uh, re uh, uh, reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman's time has expired. For purposes, the gentleman from Texas, uh, seek recognition.